it's your boy Weezy F Bamba, and we are back at it again with another YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for being here today. We're gonna be going over the brand new Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game gameplay trailer reveal. This is our first Killer Clowns from Outer Space game video that we will be covering first of many. Don't forget, guys, we will always be uploading TCM stuff and Evil Dead stuff, but this is our new venture, and I cannot wait until this game drops. Uh, we have been waiting for this for a very long time. It has been talked about so much, and we have gotten a lot of data the last couple of weeks of um, screenshots, gameplay reveals from the killer side, uh, the clowns side, and today we are getting the survivor side, okay? So this is essentially victim gameplay, how to win as a victim um, or a survivor. I don't know what they're gonna call them in this, uh, but I can't wait to show you guys this trailer and watch it myself. Uh, super excited, guys, so let's get right into it. We're gonna break it down, um, we're gonna let it play out, and then I'm gonna kind of scroll through and show you guys some stuff that um, we catch, uh, maybe some awesome gameplay mechanics, uh, it's three minutes long, and uh, there is a commentary from one of the developers from Milphonic. So let's get right to it. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. That is most important. We are trying to reach our 5,000 subscriber goal right here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. Let's fucking go. Let's go, baby. Here we go, y'all. Three, two. Why? Killer Clowns from Outer Space the game puts you in the very large shoes of the clown invaders, or that of the nimble humans. Aside from all the killing that'll obviously be going on, what do you do in this game? Hello, I'm Jordan Mathewson, design director at Elphonic, and I'm going to walk you through how to survive a Killer Clowns invasion. As a human, your goal is to escape the invasion with your life. This means you need to locate various escape routes and find the necessary items to open them before Clownpocalypse detonates. There are several options when it comes to escapes for humans, all of which are randomized in placement and require a different combination of steps to open. If you're planning on escaping an invasion successfully, you'll need to perform these necessary steps, all while evading and defending yourself from the killer clowns hunting you down. The town of Crescent Cove is, well, located on a cove. It follows that you'll have an opportunity for a water escape, and as it happens, there's a broken down boat docked somewhere in every map. Humans will need to find a spark plug to repair the engine and a gas can to fuel it up. There's only room for three humans on the boat, so if you're in a group of four, you'll have to figure things out. On the flip side, if you manage to fix and start the boat on your own, you get to choose escaping alone or risking your neck waiting for the others. If while sneaking around you notice a large concrete structure, you found the bunker, a sealed off safe house escape. Humans will need to find the gas can to power the generator and a special access card to open the door via the keypad. Be sure to prepare for the door open, because once it's open, it's open for a very limited time and only has room for three humans. After that, you're out of luck and you'll need to find another escape opportunity. This strange looking contraption is the portal machine. The ever vigilant Wesker Newton found a way to reverse engineer some clown tech and well, now there's a portal to escape through. Humans will need to find a spark plug, then interact to open up the portal, which needs to be held open for others to escape through. While you can hold it open as long as you'd like, Letting go of the portal controls will cause the portal to start closing, but will stay open just long enough for you to slip through. Once the portal fully collapses, a new spark plug is needed to open it. There are several types of barricaded gate exits that can exist around the exterior of maps. Finding a gate key will give you the ability to open up the gate that is blocking these derelict escapes. Due to their dangerous state, these gates are barricaded with a wood barrier that needs to be smashed down with melee weapons, which can be extremely noisy. Once through this barricade, you can use the gate key and escape through the precarious exit. If too many humans have tread through these areas, the routes will collapse, preventing any further escape. It's also worth noting that clowns have the ability to coat each of these escapes with cotton candy blockages. This prevents escape progress and must be cleared off before you can continue escaping. Watch out though, because failing quick time events while clearing cotton candy or interacting with escape objects can signal the clowns of your presence. 
While all of these escape options are ideal, sometimes things just don't go to plan, and you're left to die in the impending clown apocalypse. I am so fucked. Luckily, when there's 30 seconds left in the match, the Terenzi brothers crash through an exterior wall and provide one last escape route. It'll be up to any remaining humans to get there in time, and up to the clowns to stop them. At zero seconds, the clown apocalypse detonates, which quickly covers the map and kills any humans that have not escaped. We here at the studio have been having such an amazing time playing this and developing it, and we really can't wait to release this amazing experience for everyone to enjoy. We hope you have lots of heart-pounding fun and killer clowns invading June 4th. We'll see you guys there. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and give it a pause. As you guys can see, the gameplay trailer reveal was very detailed, which I thoroughly enjoyed the calm demeanor of the uh, developer who kind of broke everything down. Um, June 4th release date, ladies and gentlemen, get the pre-order now, okay? I already just gave a pre-order out on my last stream uh, last Sunday, and... Um, I might be able to get my hands on some more copies, so be on the lookout in the community section of my YouTube channel. Make sure to join the Discord too if you guys haven't yet. That's where I do most of my promotion, okay? Um, and then let's get to it, man. I'm gonna kind of break it down here. I'm gonna mute the volume uh, just because we're gonna look at some screenshots essentially throughout the game here. As you guys can see, um, he mentioned multiple things. And first take, First take for me is that this game is going to be heavily fucking victim sided already. And I'll tell you why. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five escape routes, five fucking exits, dude. That's crazy to me. Um, I, if it's three on four, these maps have to be small enough for the killers to be able to uh, traverse and uh, rotate and guard, right? Um, however, if it's big, like they did with Jason, have the ability to, to, to morph or whatever you guys call it, you know, fly to the other side. I think it was called morph, right? Morph to the other side of the map where Jason would just fucking pop up somewhere else. Um, that's going to be, for me, um, going to be really interesting to see how they, uh, you know, do the killer interaction uh, with something with five exits. Are we going to be strong enough uh, if they don't work together? Um, if you got your heads together, though, I feel like five escape exits um, is pretty fucking crazy. Let's get to each, uh, each and every one of them, and then we're going to give you guys some similarities to one of Ilphonic's previous games, Friday the 13th. If you um, live under a rock and didn't know that Gun Media or Gun Interactive at the... Wait, it was Gun Media at the time. Gun Media, now Gun Interactive, who are the creators of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, um, created Friday the 13th with Ilphonic prior. Uh, back in 2017, um, it is legitimately the first game to ever get me into asymmetrical horror, so... Big shout out to Gun and Ilphonic for that. Let's get to it. Um, as we can see here, first off, what am I doing? Not in 1080. So sorry. Uh, did we just play that whole trailer in 720? Garbage. My fault. Hopefully it looks fine. Um, so this is what I'm noticing here. Uh, first official screenshot with the HUD, right? So um, kill humans. One out of three. So this looks like this was a three-man game where they went, you know, 3v3, but there's considered four people, right? Three clowns, three humans. Time limit displayed on the screen, as we can see right up top. That's big, okay? Um, next objectives, there is none, right? This is it. Um, pretty simple controls from what I'm seeing here to shoot with your ray gun, um, hit Y to toggle between your ray gun and melee right simple here um as you, i don't know if you guys can see that past the ign watermark but that is a toggle melee um obviously stamina bar is pretty big for this clown don't know if this is for every clown but is it going to change and uh we'll see uh, obviously we have hit power because they can fight back and then three separate perks here 
which is interesting to me. Um, what does it do, right? So look at this. This one looks like some form of dexterity, like maybe no fall damage at all. I mean, with the swoops, and it looks like he's jumping, right? You think? Uh, this one's clearly some form of health relation uh, with the heart. And um, this one looks like medical spray almost or some form of like pepper spray. No, I'm stupid. This is cotton candy silly string, right? This is going to be a cotton candy something silly string related. Uh, that's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. So let's get to the next screenshot here. And um, it'll show they said this there's our first official exit we have to find a gas can and a part to start a boat would you believe it guys it's friday the 13th all the fuck over again <laughs> uh, another boat escape three people can escape on the boat but there are possibility of four victims which means which means someone's gonna get left out right would you ever want to do three and one or have, hey guys, get out two and two. Um, Cause you would just leave this person solo dolo, right? That's really uh, really weird thinking behind. I'm not sure I agree with the three on a boat when there's four people. It's gonna be too tempting to leave a victim solo. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. Uh, let's get to it here. Obviously the second official escape is the bunker. And these are gonna look with some curious writing on the walls here um this way this way save the planet this way right so we all know that these are gonna be essentially the same thing green door lights and a form of generator here um but just look for this type of building this is exit number two okay um which also needs a gas can to power the generator and an access card which uh we have no clue where these are and what where do you find them right um an access card to open the vault okay or the bunker um it has some time here um exit number three is a portal okay you can go on this machine and open a portal after finding the specific tools that you need to open the portal and um right here is an exit right now what this does is you can hold it open as long as you want but once it is not opened or once you let go you have to find another, I think they said fuse of some sort, right? Um, number four is the uh, bridge gates, right? The bridge, uh, bridge gates, bridge door, whatever, um, where you can literally find a bridge key and walk off into the distance. Um, what's a cool feature about this is it does disintegrate the floor. So, um, these are one of the exits that officially leave after a while if there's too many people walking, uh, which is a great feature. I really like this particular feature. Um, it adds a sense of urgency to go all at once or um, only a few people can run this particular exit, okay? Um, so the floor eventually will fall through. As you can see, it's starting to have a little wear and tear here, uh, which is great. Um, screenshots continuing. Let's move over. Um, we did get some killer side um, information that you actually can uh, throw cotton candy on everything that you want to slow progression. And um, so for example, if you know that they are getting close to this fucking door, by the way, look at this match timer, boys and girls. This is insane. One clown, seven humans. So it really makes it to be how many is this gonna be what is the actual gameplay going to be right so i don't know dude um it's gonna be fucking wild but you can put cotton candy you can spit cotton candy onto a door let's say you want to put it on i think they showed another clip of it somewhere else um of somewhere else right i'm not sure anyways um puts cotton candy on the door and then for you to escape out of this you have to remove the cotton candy first. And in order to do that, you have to pull it off the wall. And during the wall pulling, there will be button prompts, right? Such as my assumption is very similar to, you know, DVD 
Uh, maybe it's a wheel that spins, or maybe it's a A, Y, X, square, triangle, whatever console or key you're on, it's going to pop up some form of button. And they did mention that if you fucking miss this prompt, that it will alert the killers, okay? So as you can see from this particular screenshot, that it has um, a outline, which is very TCM-like here, okay? Um, and that some alerts them that somebody's fucking with your shit. So make sure you learn the, the prompts, okay? Um, let's get to exit number five, okay? And exit number five is officially the last 30 seconds of the game, okay? If you have not been eliminated yet and you have not escaped yet, there will be a van that smashes through this fucking wall, okay? And they're through this wall, um, you have 30 seconds to escape. Now, I want to show you something real quick from this clip, what I was watching. First off, we finally get a victim HUD, right? Victim HUD. Um, three inventory slots and what looks like a fourth big pocket doesn't really make sense, uh, but that's fine. We also have the waypoint, which I love. Um, after playing Outlast Trials for the last week and a half, um, the HUD being non-fucking-existent in that game, and you have to literally find everything, um, it has been rage-inducing, rage-inducing to play that fucking game. Um, incredible game, by the way, Outlast Trials. Anyway, um, I love a HUD. Let me know where the fuck I'm going, dude. Please, let me know where the fuck I'm going. Okay? I appreciate it. And uh, then we have this. I'm going to play this clip. Uh, flare. We finally got a flare pick. Um, it looks like we got bots. Look at this, guys. We officially might be able to fill in bots. Is this actual? One, two, three, four. So you can have a total of seven victims, right? Um, another great feature that we noticed right here. This is a cog wheel of commands and um, what do they call those? Uh, communication prompts, right? Hey, ping here. Hey, come here. Over there. Danger. Stay away, right? So we got some ping commands. It's fucking awesome. Uh, fuck, dude. Look at this. It says seven here, but it says eight up here, too. I don't know how many people are going to be playing, y'all. It's going to be crazy. Anyways, um, let me go ahead and do this. You also have a look behind feature, uh, which is great. So if you're running, you can actually pop the camera behind you, which is awesome. Uh, but let me show you guys this stamina bar real quick. Watch the stamina bar down here when she's running. Watch the stamina bar. Now, is this just this particular person, or do all victims have the same stamina, right? So, I'm curious, because when I was watching her run, that shit went pretty fucking quick, don't you think? Look at this thing. I don't know. I might be tripping. Anyways, that's what I wanted to show you uh, on that clip. Uh, the breakdown is crazy, dude, and the fact that this is... Uh, coming out in June, these HD gameplays that we just got, by the way, uh, were far above and beyond the first clips of the killer gameplay that we got. So it looks like they went into the studio, polished some shit up, because people are like, yo, you can't do pre-release alpha footage literally two months before the fucking game drops, right? You got to give us some stuff to look forward to. And uh, I think they killed it. I think they killed this trailer. It was awesome. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait to play this game. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Man, are you excited? Are you pumped? Are you disappointed already? Do you think it's going to be too cheesy, too corny? Please remember, guys. It's KKFOS, right? KKFOS is officially like the darkest black comedy horror slapstick 80s type shit this is meant to be corny okay it's meant to be fucking corny all right so don't forget that when you're buying or playing this game okay uh, i think it's gonna be a lot of fun maps comms parties with your friends less of a fucking sweat fest than tcm and and games we're gonna last much longer i just got a good feeling about it okay 
Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Are you excited for this game or not? And uh, please, 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 don't forget to drop a follow, uh, a sub button, as well as a like on the video because it helps the channel out so much. And please don't forget, we stream live on Twitch and we'll be streaming this game when it comes out on Twitch every Wednesday evening, Friday evening, Sunday morning, Monday morning. Okay? I appreciate the love and support as always. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Catch you later. Peace out.